In the role latest release 3.1, we had a lot of improvements, especially related to the editor, so the interface. Some of these improvements are related to the help system, so the way that you can find help inside the editor itself, so the documentation, some tutorials, etc. So let's start by comparing how was the help system in Godot 3.0 and how is the help system in Godot 3.1. In Godot 3.0 we had this help button into the top menu and we could search into the building documentation so this top two are building documentation and we could also search into online docs. So all these four options here are external links so to the web but these two are building help. We could search the building classes and Godot will display all the hierarchy of classes and also the building types, so array, color, etc. And we also had the documentation for GDScript, C Sharp, and other documentation related stuff. So if we click here into the GDScript, we will have access to the building functions of GDScript itself, so print, radiance to the grids, etc. We also have the option to make a custom search. So if we click here on search, we could type a keyword and Grow will display all the documentation related to this keyword. So if I type here position, Grow will display the position class, the position property of other classes like in this AABB class here. It will also display methods that contain this keyword. So uh, in the animation player we had the current animation position method with has position in the method name. And this was the, the most advanced search that we could make in the docs of the building documentation in Godot Editor. So this is the 3.0 help system. Now in Godot 3.1 we have the access to the help system through the same button. So on the top menu we have the help button. But if we click here you notice that the class menu, the class button, is not here. So we still have access to outside documentation, but the building documentation we can only access through this search help. If I open this, you notice that they merge the class documentation or the class menu into the help menu. We still have access to the classes, to the types, all built in here. So if we click here, we have direct access to this. But if we go here, you also notice that we now have this search bar here. So let's try to make sense of this new searching tool. Previously you saw that if I search by position, Godot will display one reference for each occurrence of this position word into every class that is documented. But now you can see that Godot niched the reference of this occurrence. So uh, if I search for, for position, there is only one occurrence into the ABB class. And there are some occurrence in this class here. And now you can also see that we have the ability to fold the search. So this is a very good way to visually filter what you are trying to search. So let's say I want to search for position occurrence on control nodes. So I will open the object class. I will fold this, this, and this until I reach the control class here. So these are the position occurrences into the control hierarchy of classes. So on containers, on item list, online edited, etc. But let's say that I want to filter this even more. So let's say I want to know only if there are classes that are named position. Godot now gives you the option to filter your search. So now we can see here we have this display all button, this option menu, and we can filter only by classes, by methods, by signals, constants, properties, and even by team properties. So let's say I want to search only team properties, for instance. These are the team properties that are related to the position word. So these are the occurrence of the position word into team properties. And we can search only by classes as well. So these are the classes with position occurrence into their name. And we can also search by methods. So this is a very good way to filter your search. But not only that. Let's say uh, I will display everything. So now I just want to search things that has this exact match of cases. So it will be case sensitive. It will be a case sensitive search. Godot also gives you the option to do that. So we can trigger this. And these are the occurrence of this word with this case. So we have this, this, and this. But in Godot 3.1, there are even more improvements to the help system. So let's say I want to create a to this scene here. And let's say I want to add 
a kinematic body. But let's say I want to know the documentation for this class here, the kinematic body to the class. I don't have to go to this help system, go here and search uh, kinematic body. That's not the only way that we can do that. Uh, we can also search by directly clicking into this node here. And there is now this open documentation button here. So we have the option to directly open the documentation for this class. So we can open the documentation directly through the scene tree doc. A nice improvement that Godot 3.1 brought to the building documentation is that, uh, let me switch back to the 3.0. If we try to search for occurrences on the docs here, uh, so I will press Ctrl F or you can go here into search, find. I will try to search for this is on occurrence. You can already see that this modulate menu is not very usable because it darkens everything behind it, so the background, and it's on the center of the screen that is where we are supposed to read, right? So if we try to find occurrences here, even though the background is moving, so if I try to search here, we can see that something is happening in the background, so we have some difficulty to read. On the background but if we switch back to godot 3.1 i will try to make the same thing so search find and now you see that at the bottom of the documentation so at the bottom of this portion of the screen we have this search bar menu and if i try to search for the the is on occurrence godot will already bring us to the first occurrence and we can navigate using this arrows here to the previous and the next occurrences of this search and nothing is preventing us from reading the actual results of the, the find. So this is a very good improvement to the user experience. If you want to know how to make sense of all this information that is provided to you through this documentation, Nathan made a very good video about making sense of the building documentation. So after you finish this video, go check it out Nathan's video about making sense of the documentation. But that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and until the next time.